Hello everyone, welcome back to the Quaint Housewife YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well today. I would like to first tell you quickly that I have a new extreme grocery budget challenge coming to you this week. And I'm also going to be trying my hand at grocery budget challenges at dollar amounts that are a little bit higher because some of you have given feedback that you'd like something maybe a little more, um, a li just slightly more luxurious and not so cheap, so not so you feel you have to be deprived. I will continue to do extreme grocery budget challenges, but look out for ones that are maybe just a little bit higher, okay, in dollar amount. Now, we are going to talk about a subject I don't really like to talk about too much, and that is toilet paper. It's an undainty, unfeminine subject, but you know, we all have to use it, right? So, um, this tip, let me tell you something. <laughs> Not to change the mood, but it was absolutely rage-inducing when I actually tried the tip out. I'm going to show you why. So here, the traditional way the toilet paper looks is it's circular, right? And the cardboard tube is circular. So basically, you know, you can pull it and it just keeps coming off and off and off and off straight. And so a reader sent in a tip to the old Tight Wad Gazette. Now, for those of you who don't know what the Tight Wad Gazette is, it is a new, I believe it was a newsletter format back in the 1990s for people interested in home economics, making their dollar stretch as much as possible so that they can live a better, more financially smart life, okay? So I remember my mom used to read this. I wasn't interested in it back then because I was, you know, kind of young and, um, you know, just doing my own thing back then. So this toilet paper hack, let's, let's discuss this. Now you already saw the roll, right? I don't even have to show you again. You know, it's circular, right? So this toilet paper hack was proposed by a reader and he said, if you want to stop kids and pets from using the toilet paper up really fast and wasting it, this is what you have to do. Squeeze the toilet paper as tight as possible around the holder, right? And so what's going to happen is this is going to slow the momentum of how fast the toilet paper comes off, okay? So it works, but, but what happens is it frustrates me guys, it frustrates me because I'm the type of person when I'm in there, man, I don't, I don't want to waste time. I don't want to be slowed down. So I can understand that it works for people who have um, kids and, and you know kittens and stuff like that who might be trying to take things off really fast. But if you're an adult, some adults use it too much too. Let, let me tell you, I know about that. My, my, my husband says that I eat toilet paper up because we, we use it up so fast. I, don't, I personally don't believe that, okay? I, I, I think I use it reasonably. But, so it does, it like it slows it down because it moves like, you know, side to side a little bit. So I don't really like doing that. I just, I, ugh, it wastes time. I, and I tried, I tried this. I was like, this is not going to work. So I went straight away back to the circular format. Do you want a tip from me that really helps your toilet paper last longer? This is, this is what I have to say. And it's, it's, I would say it's common knowledge. Okay. Don't buy the quilted stuff. Don't buy the quilted stuff. Now, some people like that because it's more comfortable. So what happens is if you go from these um, like 1,000 sheet rolls, so I noticed in the past couple of years that the 1,000 sheet rolls have started to decline in uh, quantity as well because it used to be two ply. It used to be two ply, so every sheet like this was actually had another sheet attached. But because it was so thin, you could take more off the roll without using too much. Now, if you're forced to buy quilted toilet paper, maybe because if you remember during the pandemic, there wasn't much available. So the more expensive stuff, the quilted stuff, to my memory, there was more of that left on the shelf because people know that the 1000 sheet rolls, they just tend to last longer. Okay. 
So the problem with getting the quilted one is when you are used to pulling a certain amount off, you still pull the same amount off with the quilted unless you consciously remember hey this stuff is thicker maybe maybe you guys out there are more um more adept at, at that or do it differently um, this is like toilet paper science here it's completely ridiculous <laughs> i understand but anyway it is a concept that can like save you money if you stay away from the quilted stuff i personally i don't like buying it and sometimes even though the pandemic craze for toilet paper is no longer around, I still noticed that, that the 1000 sheet stuff seems to be in less supply. So um, I know that there are cheapskates out there that won't, I don't even want to talk about it, but they won't even, they won't use toilet paper, okay? And um, to each their own, there are other things you can do. I won't, eat, I won't get into it. Um, but I know, I know there's also like bidets. I think bidets are becoming more common in the USA as well. I've never tried one, but I think that um, those help reduce uh, the amount of toilet paper. Maybe they won't even, maybe you don't even use it at all with a bidet. Maybe some of my um, Canadian or friends from other countries can talk about that. So, yeah, I will not be doing this again. I do not like this and my husband my husband he was laughing at me when I tried this out he thought it was so funny that I was getting frustrated by it I mean my face was red and everything because sometimes what happens is sometimes you have sheets especially towards like maybe the first quarter of the roll that they um, they stick to the rest of the roll more and so I, I had a roll like that where the pieces weren't even coming off as easily they were like sticking I was like I can't take this anymore okay take me to the nut house all right um so okay guys so anyway um my tip is really not to use this tip if you are prone to anger or anxiety or just are having a bad day because it might make your day worse but if you need um to spread your toilet paper up use out because you have people that just like pull and pull and pull and won't stop if they you know if they're too young to learn or if they're animals, maybe this tip will work for you. <laughs> so anyway, like I said, I don't like discussing this topic. I don't like discussing this topic, but maybe um, that tight wad gazette tip um, from the past will still help some of you. If any of you would like me to review other old tight wad gazette tips, let me know. And um, I have tried a few of them, so if you'd like me to make videos about them too please let me know and anyway i hope everything is going well for you all uh it is really cloudy today and it snowed the other day and here let me see my buddy tiggy's right here say hi tiggy say hi yeah <laughs> anyway um all right guys if you have any tips for making your bathroom tissue last, pl please feel free to put it below the video and everybody will read it. And any other tips that you want to put down for, um, you know, using um, the washroom, you can do that, okay? All right, everyone, have a good day. I will talk to you below in the comments. Bye for now.